Welcome back everyone, I'm Danny the Dinosaur Drawer and welcome to part 2 on how to draw Captain America vs Iron Man. So yeah, you've come to the coloring stage and here I got a boatload of pencils that I'm going to be using today. So here they are, just so we can color in these two superheroes. Here is the reference image once again. As you can see we got a bunch of red, a bunch of blue, and a few other colors. So I got some skin to color for Captain America's face. Got some brown. You can choose any type of brown you want. This is just for like his belt and a few other things <clears throat> and straps. Here's a nice red color. This is actually called Carmen Red, I think. This is from Arteza. We're using a bunch of different types of pencils. Like this is a Prismacolor Premier Silver pencil. For the silver parts of their suits. Here is what's this called? cool erase just a blue pencil and here's the main blue pencil I'm going to be using for Captain America which is it's polycolor doesn't really have the name but yeah it's like a good blue pencil we got an orange one a yellow one <laughs> another red one gold color which is not exactly the gold I wanted but it's the best I could find here's like a more of a What's this called? Let's see, it probably has the name. Yellow Ochre? I guess Acre? Ochre? And then here's the black pencil. So yeah, it's a bunch of pencils. And I know you guys would probably like to know the names of each pencil. But unfortunately, I'm using a bunch of pencils from different pencil boxes I've had over the years. And you can take a screenshot right now. <laughs> here's the different colors we'll be using for this video. So yeah, we're going to start with Captain America. So that's why I'm going to be using, getting out this blue pencil first. And actually, I forgot to mention I'm using an eraser as well, along with a pencil sharpener. So in part one, we did pencil and pen, and that was a lot of fun. And we, yeah, we did most of the hard work, but coloring can be difficult at times, especially for the beginner. So before we start coloring, actually, I just forgot we have to erase what we did in the last video. So now Captain America's shield doesn't look like much. And that's where the coloring will come in and make it look very much more real. So for Captain America, for all the parts where like his suit is blue, we're going to be using a blue and a black pencil. So the black will help for shading and stuff like that. So let's dive right in. I think actually I'm going to start off with black. The black pencil for the parts that are necessary to make very dark, like under the armpit. Also this area on the side is very dark. You can barely see these pouches of his on his belt. And this whole area that I'm coloring right now is very black, so there's no need to even draw with another color there because it's simply, yeah, just very dark. See, I hope you guys are following along. His pants are also very dark right about here. His tricep is not completely dark. So that's where I'm gonna press a little less hard with our pencils. And let's see, this area of his helmet, which I did a little bit of cross hatching with my pen, is also going to be much darker. That's the thing with when if you don't have a bunch of blue different of uh, different blue pencils, then that's when like a black pencil will definitely come in handy. Because if you did have like all types of shades of blue, then technically you could do the same thing I'm doing now. But it would take a lot more time and a lot more. You'd have to have a lot more pencils. <laughs> so yeah, here's our blue pencil. Let's start with his shirt right about here. We do want to leave a few spots very light, like the top of each of these wrinkles, like so. Press really hard for the bottom parts, like the parts you want to be darker. So I often find coloring very relaxing. You don't have to think as much. It's just a lot of fun. It's also easier to talk when you're coloring. 
Like I, I found it in the part one, which you guys saw a few times. It was kind of hard to talk because I was concentrating hard on trying to get the drawing to turn out good. So let's so Captain Rex got a lot of blue. He's the star spangled man with a plan. And he his colors are very much patriotic. So blue, red and white. I mean, he don't doesn't have a lot of white, but he has red and blue, so I think United the United States has the best colors there are for a flag. And if you notice, a bunch of other flags have the exact same colors, and most of them, most of those countries were actually came after the United States, so they're really copying us. <laughs> but then again, I guess we sort of took our colors from the Union Jack, the British flag. But I say red, red is a very popular flag color. So is blue. I think the French flag is red, white, and blue, as is the Australian one. I don't know if any of you all are from those countries, but if you are, please comment below, because I always find that very fascinating when my subscribers are from another country. Even if it's like France, because it's like amazing that you guys are watching an English or an American speaking person on YouTube. Just to tell you the truth, I rarely watch videos on YouTube that are in other languages. Every once in a while I watch one maybe like in Spanish. So yeah, a lot of blue. It's also important to sort of draw in the in the direction that you want. The, like if I'm doing it, this arm for instance, I want the lines to be curved like so. I don't want them to be straight because the curved lines will give it more shape and make it more look more three dimensional overall. That's one of the coolest things about art is that you're really fooling people's eyes into believing what you're drawing is 3D when it's just different colors on a piece of paper. So again, I put a little bit of black there around this collar. It's hard to tell because there's like a bunch of different lights in this picture. So I know this part here is silver, but it looks a little bluish. Maybe because it's reflecting. The light is reflecting the blue color onto it. So let's just make a little bit of light blue there. And have very dark blue near the bottom of this shoulder pad but it will get lighter as we get nearer the top and if you guys are wondering I, I'm just starting to draw stuff with colored pencils I almost never did it in the past but I'm, actually just like in the last few months I've started drawing more colored pencil drawings which is a lot of fun so I'm wondering if I should use this color or just use the same blue color I was using before and I'll just use this one because it'll help match his suit So again, as I said before, this part is very dark. Never really thought about doing comic book art until recently. So I've always thought it was too hard to do, for me at least. But yeah, I definitely think if you're trying to do comic book art, you'd have to have a lot of practice. And I don't think I'm anywhere close to being ready. 
to, to like to write my own comic book or to illustrate a, a comic book for a comic book company, but I now think that it would be possible in the future for me to get to that level. Because sometimes I used to, well, I think a lot of people think that, oh, these people who draw only can draw because they're gifted or their parents were artists and it's genetic. But really it's just about all the time and hard work you guys put in that makes your art get better. So as you noticed, I switched to a brown color. I'm leaving these white spots for the sparks. All oh, this white spots here for the sparks that are coming from Iron Man's hands. So we're going to color in this strap in this brown color along with these pouches of his. Making sure not to get the, like the buckle here colored in because that's a silver color. I've also tried watercolor, but I've found that like I haven't done much on YouTube with watercolor, except for maybe a few speed drawings, because watercolor is, I think it's harder to teach when you're doing watercolor. So these straps here that are connecting at the top of his suit to the bottom, I think they're white. I don't have to double check, but in this picture, they look like they have a tint of brown to them, which is why I'm going to be coloring them a little bit brown. But I will double check just in case. But that's what they look like, so that is my reason for coloring them like that. So let's draw a little bit of black under this other strap here. And then we can color that area red. Also, this gauntlet of his is a brown color. So I'll just put a little bit of black there for the shading and color in his gauntlet. And then yeah, we'll take care of the red and the red and the silver colors that are part of his costume. So guys, I just confirmed that I was right. These straps here on his costume are white, as you can see right there. But yeah, the light was reflecting in a weird way, so that's why it appeared to be that brownish color. So let's put my tablet back here and we will continue drawing. So let's see, I'm going to use this dark reddish color for the inside of his suit. It's almost like a burgundary, burgundary, burgundary color. Is that, what do you call this? See, it just says Fantasia Artist's color. It doesn't even say the name of the... Maybe it's the pencil is too short and I already used it so much that it... I cut off the part that told the name of the, of the pencil. Oh man, it just broke. So that's why I'll have to sharpen it. Um, the best pencils, if you guys are wondering what pencils I think are the best, I definitely think Prismacolor Premier is the best, and the bigger the set you buy, the better, obviously, because you get a much wider range of colors. Arteza has some great ones as well. And on my channel, you can find the uh, review I did on Arteza colored pencils. And they're very good. They perform marvelously. <laughs> they, I, they, I'm not kidding. Just it's not because they were sponsoring me. It's just their, their, their stuff is good quality. Because I've used it for tons and tons of my YouTube videos. Like almost every tutorial I did last year was using Arteza paper and Arteza shading pencils. And by the way, my mechanical pencil that I use in a lot of my videos is also not sponsored. But if, if you're out there and you work for those Graph Gear people, I'd be happy to do a partnership or something. <laughs> so yeah, Captain America is looking very good. I think all we need now is... Well, we got a color in his face and stuff, but we got a little bit of silver we need to put in. And I did notice we have a little bit more brown to put in this, this strap that goes 
across its back is also a brown color. And I believe I have a darker brown. Let me just check in my pencil box here. Yeah, I got a darker brown that might suit better for some of the areas here. So I'm going to be using that right now. And we do have a tiny bit of red left to do. So that'll be right about there. So guys, be sure to take a break if your hands are getting tired. I know colored pencils can get wear your hand out very fast, especially if you're pressing very hard. And I find myself get my hands get tired after a while of col using colored pencils, which is one reason I'd say watercolor is better in some ways. Except watercolor, you can't get the depth. I mean, like the dark tones that you can with colored pencils. See, I've got nice sleeve there for cap. Got a little bit more shading to take care of. I'd say we should add a little bit more black to mix in with that. And again, the caps, the front of Captain America should be much lighter than his back because all the light's coming from the center of these two superheroes. Let's add a tiny bit more darkness there. Along around his ear, I think we should add some more, more black. Okay, so let's see, where's... Here's our skin color. Uh, that's why I, I call it skin color because there's no name on it. And it happens to be the same color as a white person's skin, so that's why I'm calling it skin color. And by the way, all, it's good to use brown colors as well when you're when you're drawing someone's skin. The brown colors are great for shading better than using like a black pencil. So take like a brown colored pencil for the shading, and it'll look a lot more natural. So let's see the main spots we got to put shading is a little bit under the nose here. Say right under the lips and around his, his eye. So Captain America does have a blue eye, blue eyes. So let's put a little bit of blue there. And yeah, Cap is pretty much done. I think now we should move on to the shield. Okay, just to give you guys fair warning, the shield is probably the hardest part of this drawing. But let's see how we do. So I think I'll start off by using the red pencil. Or maybe we should do the sparks first. Let's try that. We have a bunch of sparks. I'm just starting off with this color. Don't press too hard on, on your paper yet. Because I'm st still trying to figure out how I'm going to do this. You have a basic idea though of what's happening. So this pencil may looks a little bit too golden colored. Let's see where's my I have a very bright yellow and an orange. So the orange one will come in handy. But I think overall for the sparks, this yellow one's gonna be the best choice. And for each yellow spark, I would give it a little bit of orange around it. So let's start putting in these sparks. I'm trying to make this look natural, like it would in real life. But again, I have the problem that the problem is when I first colored this, I put the sparks going off that way, but they really are going up, you know. They should be going more like that. So make some of them thinner and some of them thicker. 
See, there's a bunch of thin ones coming up the top here. Looks very much like a firework. Some of them are going in different directions, and even making some of them curved is a good idea. Some of them are falling. Make them very sporadic. Maybe that's the word. Just make, you just play around, you know? Sometimes that's the best thing to do when you're trying to make something look organic or, yeah. Have a few going over Iron Man's suit. Which is a good thing we didn't draw Iron Man yet. Because Captain America is shielded behind them. Keep that in mind. So he's not going to be getting the bulk of the sparks. Most of the sparks, I guess, would go right back at Iron Man. And again, like, when something's super hot, it turns white. And that's why this area right here is going to be a white color. There's a bunch of little sparks. Then there's a bunch of them falling back down. I mean, this scene is just epic in slow motion. This one shot. And that's why I decided to do it, even though it's not even Avengers Endgame. But, as I said in the part one, I don't want to talk about Avengers Endgame just yet. I will do videos after it comes out. Plus there's not as many good reference images out there just yet from that movie. So yeah, this is looking very yellow right now. And a good way to put off my camera a bit. A good way to start making it look more realistic is to add some orange tones to it. But I might first go ahead and color in part of Cap's shield, but which parts of it are going to be showing between the sparks here. And I'm not really good at colors, like seeing what they look like. This looks like a, almost like a pink color. I wonder if I have a better red pencil. Let's try this guy out. Uh, it looks pretty much the same. It's so hard to find a nice dark red pencil. It's really frustrating. And that's why I would recommend you guys buy a nice big set of Prismacolor Premier pencils. And I should be telling that to myself because I haven't bought a big set. The last set I got was 24 pencils. And I know there's like a set that's like 74 or something like that. So yeah, I, I should invest some of my the money I'm getting from YouTube into that and, and buy a big set of pencils, especially if I'm going to be doing more tutorials like this one. I think I should have the, like the, the best pencils, you know, to give you guys a good example on what pencils to use. And I could also tell you the exact ones I was using so you could follow along and pick the exact pencils I was using to color in. So yeah, but that's, we're looking into the future right now. I might I'm currently sort of low on money, so that's why I haven't gotten them yet. But I will someday. And I will definitely do an unboxing video when I do get them. So one way to make like this spark, for example, look better is to just add a little bit of orange around it. So now I'm thinking I might have added a tiny bit too many sparks and stuff like that, but you know, look, it looks okay. I'm, I'm pretty happy with how this looks. Just add a little bit more yellowish brightness to coming out of the, off the top and bottom here of this blast. And now it's time to draw the person who is creating this amazing amount of energy, Iron Man. So the first thing I'm going to do is actually start with the color that's least used on Iron Man, which is blue. But his eyes are really brightly colored. And they have like a blue tint to them in this picture. So just draw like blue lining around his eye. Then he's got several areas here where 
it's got like a little light little lights shining it's got one here as well one right there it's got one on the top of his hand he's got one right wait did I not put it in right right about there then where's the other one I forget right there and there's one right here so yeah those are the blue lights and I think we can put that blue pencil away and I think next we will start putting in the gold let's see where's my gold pencil so here's the gold pencil with this pencil you have to since there's no other really real gold colors that I have I'm only going to be able to use this one and I'll turn like something to help with the gold color is maybe a little bit of orange but yeah I think this color is okay the Iron Man's got a lot of silver on him as well <clears throat> and the, like the front mask here is going to be extremely white from the blast so we're only going to draw part of it with the gold color. So just do as I do. Just the fur, yeah, just the sides here are gonna maintain the gold color. I mean, I don't think Iron Man's almost ever shot something that close up with his blasters. So that looks pretty good. Let's see, here's the next gold spot. Would be this like tricep piece. He's definitely got one of the coolest suits of any superhero. So let's see where else do we need to put some gold? Oh yeah this other top piece. Remember to color lightly for this one because there's more light shiny on it. And yeah, there's a piece right here. It's golden. I like to leave little white spots there, here and there, for to show the light shiny off of it. It also makes it look like, yeah, it makes it look more shiny. More real. So yeah, this is mu very much of like a muddy colored gold. So if you have a better one, go ahead and use it. This is called metallic gold. So hey, <laughs> this one actually has the name, and Iron Man is made of metal or iron, whatever. So I guess we did. I guess I did pick a good, good choice of color. So let's see. This bottom part is also made of gold. I think in the first Iron Man movies, I haven't, I haven't seen it, but like I saw, I've seen clips. And I think he says something about his suit being made of titanium, or at least part of it is. But he liked the name Iron Man, because it sounded cool. So yeah, I think we're pretty much done with our golden pencil. The next color will be the silver. And that can be found in a few spots on Iron Man. But for the most part, like when it's something silver, it's going to be very shiny. So it'll be almost white, and there's almost no need to actually put in a lot of silver color. So use the silver color mostly for the dark spots. So there's a bunch of silver. I'm calling it silver, but it's, I guess it's just metal or iron. Or as I said earlier, it's maybe titanium.
Red is my favorite color, by the way. So that's another reason I like Iron Man a lot. I like his suit, especially his suit is very cool. And Robert Downey Jr. does a great job. Great job acting out Iron Man. So now it's time to put in that hot red color. Mixed in with black because of the darker spots, you know. So again, this is not the exact color of what I'm looking at right now. He's got a darker, deeper red color, which looks cooler than what I'm drawing right now. Let's see how this turns out. See, so yeah, maybe this this ruby burgundy color might be a better option for the darker spots at least. So I need balance between these two pencils. Even though this look, yeah, it doesn't, it's like an, an off red color. It's almost pink. So that's why I have to be sort of careful with it and mix both of them up. I did the other Iron Man drawing recently in the past few days, which you guys saw on Instagram. I, yeah, I had problems also with choosing colors for that, which is rather annoying. There's a great artist on YouTube called Jasmina Susak, and she does like realistic um, portraits and s drawings of superheroes with colored pencils. But her stuff is so amazing, it's like she has so many shades of, of different pencils that it really makes everything look so real. Makes it look like it's alive most of the time. So yeah, if you're interested in like more superhero drawings, I would highly recommend you YouTubing Jasmina Susak. She, I know, I've seen like some of her Iron Man drawings. They're like totally better than this one. <laughs> I think she doesn't use pens, there's no lines. And when there's no lines and it's just colored pencils, it looks much more realistic. So I'm definitely going to add black to some of these spots to make the red look darker. But yeah, like some of the spots you're noticing, I'm leaving white. Be sure to do exactly what I'm doing, leaving them white like that, because that's what we want to make it look like it's actually metallic. <clears throat> so it looks like it's shiny, you know? So right now I'm doing Iron Man's fingers. So nowadays, <clears throat> I don't think any comic book artists are using colored pencils when they do their drawings. It's all done on a computer or tablet. But most, yeah, the pen drawing is almost always done with real pens and real pencils and stuff. But nowadays, the coloring is much easier with a tablet. You can just pick solid colors and it looks better. Before, honestly, I don't actually know what they were using. They must have been using, I don't think they were color pencils. Most of the time people used some sort of like watercolor for comics. So I don't think color pencils would work. That would just take a long time. I think Disney used acrylics for their cartoons. A lot of times I'll see some, like a cartoon, I'm like, what did they use for that? The colors look so solid. And it'll be like an old one before they had their electronics to color in. Because creating a solid color with colored pencils, as you can see right now with yours there at home, it's very difficult. Like you have to press down super hard to get a nice solid color. I'm just realizing I missed a few spots here that are silver. I 
this whole area here is also silver. I'm glad we drew those, drew those sparks in. It looks pretty cool to have the sparks on top. I just realized there is a blue light right there. <clears throat> That's why I put those two lines there. So let's be sure to put in that light. Like so. And we'll color in carefully around it. And here, for this portion of Iron Man, this is where I'm going to be enlightening up my pencil because a lot of this is going to be drawn in black. Looking for my gold pencil. I also missed a spot right here. So I'd say like Iron Man vs. Captain America is the equivalent of T-Rex vs. Indominus Rex. And I'd say the Indominus Rex is the Iron Man. It's Iron Man is the Indominus Rex in this case. Most definitely. I mean, as you guys probably remember from this scene, Iron Man just blasts off Bucky's arm. So he could have easily done that to Captain America's arm. Because Captain America's arms aren't even metal, so... Iron Man's suit has a lot of... A lot of capability. And in Infinity War, like, he lasted so long against Thanos. Iron Man just had a little... All these little uh, different accessories, maybe is the word, on his suit. I kept on thinking he was going to give out, and then he like, pulled out another thing, and then he has dozens of shields that he just whips out. I mean, his suit is just so cool in Infinity War, and I was really hyped to see what, what new things he has in Endgame. If he doesn't starve on his on his little space chip there, like we all saw in the trailer, it looks like he's in his last last hours. See, as I said before, we don't have much red left to do. Let's do. A, it's gonna go with a broader stroke here so we can finish up a little faster. I'm glad I made this a two-part video because it would have been very long if it was a just one video. And now would be the opportune moment to get out your black pencil so we can finish up this epic battle. So I got my black pencil out. This is actually like a, almost like a thicker pencil than the rest of them. I've been using. And it's easier for the black to stick on when you don't press so hard with the pencil you, you were using before. Because I was, see, I was pressing really hard with the gold, and it's very hard for the black to stick on top of it. So, again, the armpit area is going to be very dark. This side of the shoulder is going to be very dark save for that light there that's shining. The bottom of the arm here is going to be dark. So we're just going to be adding a lot of black to this to this drawing. I keep on moving the paper. I need to stop doing that. As you can see here, we still have... Oh no, my battery's getting low. That's what the camera's telling me. I think we'll have enough to finish this though. Yeah, this black is gonna make it look a lot 
a lot better. Shading is really the trick to making something look three, making something look three dimensional. Like you can draw lines and stuff, like all the color children's coloring books. It doesn't fool anybody for a second. But some drawings can actually look like a real photograph because the artist was able to do the shading right. Let's add some more black. Drawing Black Panther suit would be kind of hard, just like the whole thing would be, most of it's black. But then you'd have to draw the, the claws and extra little bits of his costume. So you got a nice dark black color here at the very back of Iron Man. And then it's very bright red as it gets closer to the the blast is what I'm gonna be calling it. So yeah, this is looking very cool. I'm doing a little bit of smudging over there, so I'm gonna have to clean that up with my eraser after we finish. Let's do a little bit of black right here next to his thigh. Then again behind his jaw. We're gonna have some nice shading as well. And we'll add some light black to the back of his head or helmet, like so. And yeah, we're almost done. <laughs> How about a pen on, yeah, I got one pen right here, so I can sign the drawing at the end. So be sure to get a pen ready, because you don't want to sign it with a pencil, you want to sign it with a pen. To make it permanent. Let me just, we don't want to, I don't like leaving many white spots. Plus I'm just coloring in a few extra areas with this pencil. And yeah, I think we're pretty much done. Let me add a little bit more sparks there. I mean, I'm, I'm sort of impressed with how I did the sparks because I never thought I could really make it look like it's super hot there in the middle. But now I guess it sort of looks like that. Comment below if you think the same. And yeah, if you want me to see your drawing, the best way to do that now that Google Plus is closed would be to tag me in your post when you post it on Instagram. Mm -hmm. And yeah, as I said, actually in part one, yeah, I mentioned my Instagram account, but I'll have a link to that in the description of this video. So be sure to check that out so you can tag me when you post your amazing Iron Man vs. Captain America from Captain America Civil War. I mean, this picture looks really cool. So yeah, let's get out our pens. I've got my pen here. And I will sign it next to Iron Man. I think this one deserves me to write my full name. Put in the date. Actually, I'm going to put in the month as well. Right there. Let's erase the last bits of smud last bits of smudge. And I will have to put this in a plastic sleeve or something so it doesn't continue to smudge around. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. This has been a lot of fun. It's great to do colored pencils for a change. And also yeah, just drawing superheroes is a lot of fun. And yeah, be sure to comment below which superheroes you think I should draw next and as always like what dinosaurs you'd like to see next and subscribe if you have not already done so and 
leave this video a thumbs up. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks so much for watching.